In this screencast I'll explain how you can solve a system of linear equations using matrices. So here we have five equations with five unknowns and all of those equations add up to a particular number, a total value there and to solve this system of five equations with five unknowns there are different approaches and one is to put this into matrix form. So what we have to have is a matrix of all the coefficients of all the equations multiplied by a matrix of all the unknowns and we set that equal to all of those totals in a matrix. Um, and in order to make this work we need to use the inverse matrix and I'll show you why that is in a moment but first of all the inverse matrix is something that we can calculate at the moment we're just referring to it as this matrix to the minus one and the why the why the reason why the inverse matrix is very useful is because if you take the inverse matrix and multiply it by the original matrix you get the identity matrix which is in matrix terms it's like the number one if you multiply a matrix by this now you get the same matrix back again so any matrix multiplied by the identity matrix just gives the original matrix and so if we were to multiply both of these sides by the inverse matrix on the left hand side we would just have the identity matrix multiplied by the answer matrix and on the other side we would just have the inverse matrix multiplied by these totals in this matrix a little bit like this so the answers can be given by getting the inverse matrix of all those coefficients multiplying it by the totals of all of those and that will give the answer. We can do this in Excel using some functions. We can get the inverse by using M inverse and we can multiply two matrices by using M mult. So let's zip over to Excel and have a look at how this would work. So here we are in Excel and here's a table of all the coefficients that we need for those five equations and here's a table of all those totals of those, of those five equations the first step is to use M inverse, we open brackets, select that table of coefficients, press enter, and then we have to highlight all the cells that the matrix is going to be read out into because this is an array function. Then we press F2, control shift and enter, and that is the inverse of this matrix. To get the answers, we have to multiply two matrices together. So we have M mult, open brackets, we highlight the first matrix, which we have to do the inverse first, press comma, and then we highlight these totals because that was the, the second matrix that we had to multiply by. Close brackets and press enter. Again, this is an array function, so we have to highlight the cells to which the values are going to be read out to press F2, control shift and enter. And now we have a table, a matrix of values for the unknown values. So V equals 0.001, W equals 0.0025, X equals 0.0035, Y equals 0.002, and Z equals 0.0005. And so that there gives us the answers and if you really wanted to, you could go back to those original equations, plug these values in, and check that these totals were what you got in the end. And overall, that is how you can use matrices and Excel to implement the approach to solve a system of linear equations.